Welcome back. The ACL Festival lineup was just announced this morning, so music is on our minds already. And today is New Music Tuesday, so joining me are John Koontz and Patrick Floyd from Waterloo Records with this week's hottest new releases. Thank you guys so much for being here. Yeah, first off, I wanted to mention that we uh, are celebrating Earth Day today at Waterloo, yeah. along with like 150 other businesses yes. giving 5% back to the Hill Country Conver Conservancy. So uh, you can check out all the other businesses participating at that as well. Helping us go green. Exactly. And we're starting with a Grammy winner. That's right. Rodney Crow. Mm -hmm. And this one's entitled Tar Paper Moon. Or, excuse me, Tar Paper uh, Sky. And uh, Rodney teamed up last year with for Old Yellow Moon with uh, Emmylou Harris. And that record yielded them a Grammy and uh, Americana Album of the Year. Mm -hmm. And Rodney had been her, uh, her guitarist long ago. So he teamed up with Stuart Smith, his guitarist from the 80s. And they have put together a record that I think is fabulous. It's so evocative of the Diamonds and Dirt record that won Rodney so many rec uh, album accolades. And that was actually the first time he ever played our store. Hmm. It was back in 88. So uh, I highly recommend Tar Paper Sky. Wonderful. And kind of sticking with the genre of music, the singer-songwriter country. Yes. Yeah, so Ray Price brings such an emotional restraint to even ballads. It's as if he's guarding the dignity of heartache. And these recordings were made just months before his passing last December. Mm -hmm. So it's a very special swan song to a really peerless career. He's just an, a masterful interpreter of song, and just along with Billie Holiday, Sinatra, Johnny Cash, it's just an archetypal American voice. So it's a little thinner here than you might have from people who might have first become accustomed to Ray Price from his recordings in the 50s and 60s, right. but just a terrific release. Wonderful. Another Grammy winner. Absolutely. Kev Mo, born Kevin Moore. Uh, this is the 14th release from this three-time Grammy winner. It's called Blues Americana, and uh, Kev Mo, uh, you know, is, has been compared to uh, Robert Johnson and the kind of the whole seminal Delta blues music that moved up the Mississippi across the entire expanse of America. Mm -hmm. uh, but it was Towns Van Zant who said there's two kinds of music, the blues and zippity doo dah. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> Kev Mo says, there's also Americana, and he puts them together very, very well on this release. Wonderful. Neon Trees is out with a new one. Well, Neon Trees was, is, is coming out today, but we mm -hmm. wanted to mention, uh, we wanted to swap in a local artist, uh -huh. uh, Carrie Rodriguez. This is live at the Cactus Cafe. This is Carrie Rodriguez and Luke, Luke Jacobs. Okay. It's uh, just recent release. It's a wonderful, uh, it spans her career as far as what the tracks she does are. Something that's really special, they really kind of slow down and bring out some of the, the really smoldering, sultry elements mm -hmm. in the sound. And if, you, if you've ever had a chance to be in the <coughs> Cactus Cafe right here on campus in Austin, yeah. it's a legendary room and the sound is unbelievable. Yep. All right, uh, a rock band, War Paint. Right, this is the third release from this all-female quartet, and uh, really tight harmonies is, you know, that kind of demonstrates that uh, Emily and Teresa have been singing together since they were childhood friends. Uh, very um, kind of dreamy and hypnotic um uh, psych rock. Okay. And uh, they are the opening act for the National as part of their uh, uh, multi night uh, stand at Moody ACL Live. Uh huh. Uh, but Warpaint is going to be doing a free in store performance coming up here at 1 o'clock at Waterloo Records. Today. So we invite everyone out to that. And we're going to have free pizza courtesy of our friends at Austin's Pizza. Check them out. Another in store, Wild Cub. Wild Cub. The album is Youth. This Friday we have an in store at Five. Uh, we're excited about that, and if you kind of took Wynn Butler from Arcade Fire and filtered his vocals through the sound of Simple Minds, that's what this sounds like to me. I see, and they're opening for Vampire Weekend in town, is Very that right? Very excited, right. Yes. Right. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you. All right, we'll be right back.